I don't want to see Mitch, any more of your little you tricks coming from Noah. you. Look, mister, I'm just a messenger, okay? You delivered a package today to the Love Tower, to a Felicia Gallant me. Yeah, I took something there, yeah. But not to that name. It was to, uh... Fanny Grady? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, who sent you? A man named Noah Grady. Where is he? I don't know. I just got paid to deliver the package. Well, then if he paid you, then you must have seen him. Do you have any uh, idea what he looks look, like? Look, slow down, will you? Like I said, I'm just a messenger trying to earn a little extra. Okay, okay, okay. What did he look like? <clears throat> I never saw the fella. Look, I, I didn't know there was going to be any kind of trouble. If, if you didn't see him, then how did you know what to do? He told me on the phone. Then you talked to him. He told me to come here to pick up the package, and my pay envelope would be on top. That's it. Terrific. I'm sorry, Liz. We didn't mean to frighten you. That's all right. Look, I've got another package to deliver, though, so if you don't mind... Can you tell me to who you're delivering it to? Yeah, it's uh, to Children's Hospital. Room 601, from Uncle Red and Aunt Mamie. Excuse me. I was afraid it was a package for Lisa. I thought maybe we found him. Okay, let me get this right. He takes the article. Because he doesn't want it published, Mitch. I'm not so sure that that's exactly it. He doesn't want to be embarrassed for the uh, sin that could go public. No, no, it doesn't fit. I don't think that's it. Mitch, the fact that I got pregnant. He's afraid it's going to be in one of the installments. Look, I don't even think he's concerned about what, you know, what happens to you. I think he's concerned about the way the world's going to see him. What? Because of the way he treated me? Yeah. And the scare tactics. It's going to stop. What, what are you going to do? What we should have done from the start. I'm going to go see the police. No, Mitch, please. Why not? I don't know. I, I just I just can't go to the police. I can't explain it. So what are you going to do? Just let him continue to terrorize you? If you go to the police, then everything you say to them is public. Isn't that right? Okay. Okay, then... Then we'll go to Cass. Why? Why? Because at some point, I'm going to find out who Noah Grady is. Then I'm going to go to Cass. I'm going to get him to go to a judge and get a restraining order. You wouldn't think that will work. Look, you're not his little stepdaughter anymore. You happen to be my wife. Some way, we're going to put an end to this. <sighs> Ow, stay. Hold still again. How can I when you're burning my skin off? It's just a mild antiseptic. Not when you were on the receiving end, it isn't mild. Oh, Cass. Gee. Now, how about these... Don't touch my ribs. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did anybody ever tell you it's a good thing you didn't go into nursing? Did anybody ever tell you that gratitude is not exactly your strong point? Jamie should be here in a few minutes. Hey, don't look so worried. I'm going to be fine. Oh, I can't believe Jason would do this. Jason? He had two of his thugs do it for him. It is amazing. The guy's so broke that we're foreclosing on everything he owns, and yet he can come up with the money to hire goons. He wants you to drop the suit. Yeah, well, fat chance. Cass, maybe you should. Are you kidding? What I should do is charge him with assault and battery. Cass, you could have been killed. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Listen, what's a couple of ribs, you know? There's plenty more where they came from. I heard a lot worse the last time I used the rowing machine at the gym. You're not joking your way out of this. You know what our one major problem is? These are the clothes I was going to wear for our wedding. Yes. Jamie. Stacy. Hi. <sighs> Long time. I didn't know you were back. Yeah. Boy, you, you look great. Oh, well, so do you. Um. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. 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 Well, it's good to see you. How was how, how Cass? Well, it looks sort of like Jason's tractor ran him over, but... Jason did this? I don't believe it. Too whispering about over uh, there, huh? Hi, Jamie. Hello, you Nicole. Are. Thanks for coming, Jamie. Hey, no problem. Real attractive, huh? Uh-huh. So I know you just got back from your honeymoon. But... Oh, that's right. Congratulations are in order. Yeah. I hope you guys are going to be really happy together. Thank you very much. So, um, I'm looking forward to meeting Vicky. Is that her name? Yes. As a matter of fact, I think you'd like her a lot. Oh, sure I will. Mm. Cass, are you positive that, that Jason was behind this? Yes, I am. Did you see him? No, but I saw his friends. I, uh, I tried to clean up his face a little bit mm. and his hand, cuts on his hand. Yeah, she did a great job. She used paint remover. I <laughs> did not. 
What about you your vision? You should check his ribs. Oh, but don't touch him. There. What about your vision? I think the vision's fine. This is about headaches. I want you out of here. Jamie will be here soon, and he'll throw you out. You're just afraid that I will tell him the truth the second he walks through the door. I swear I'm going to call the cops, Jason. I'll give you till Friday. That's Felicia's big thing. You either get rid of Cass, or I tell Jamie what a slut his wife is. Oof. Maybe that's Jamie. I'll get it. Hey, old habits die hard. <laughs>